Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nate. Hope you're keeping yourself safe well and your sanity is still intact in this particularly difficult period of time in April of 2020. Eco Dynamics has been very kind to offer up most of its modules for a one month long free trial from the middle of April to the middle of May. Uh, so I've tested out a whole bunch of things, uh, different aircraft, and I find myself enjoying quite a lot of them. Uh, it's been quite a good time to try out aircraft while I've been in my house for three weeks. Um, we're going to be looking at firing off the uh, CM802 AKG today using the TGP as a method of setting up the missile as a point of guidance. Um, I apologize to those who come here looking for a comprehensive guide or a detailed guide on how to use it for all the other sub modes. Uh, this is not for you, unfortunately, if that's what you came here for. But if you're like me and you've just downloaded the module and you just want to get a weapon off the rails quickly and easily just to see what it does, um, then this is for you. Because uh, there are two other modes for the missile to, to use it as a setup. Uh, the manual mode and the, I believe it's called PP or CO mode, which is a uh, a lot more complex and requires a little bit of planning. So uh, if you just want to get your, uh, you know the, the cruise missile off the rails, uh, stick around. I hope you'll find this useful. Uh, the CM802 AKG is a standoff cruise missile uh, that has a man-in-the-loop system. Uh, what does that mean in layman's terms? Well, it's just a basically a, uh, a super huge maverick that has human guidance in the final stage of the missile's uh, profile, flight profile in the terminal phase. Uh, so how do we set up the missile to use the TGP to set up as a point of interest? Well, if you use the F-16 or F-18, this is probably pretty obvious. Uh, you set up a point of interest, your sense point of interest or SPI on your TGP to uh, set up as the profile for the cruise missile. And the cruise missile automatically figures out the profile at once. And then you just guide it in on the end phase. So let's set up the aircraft for uh, launch here. Uh, it's on active pause, but uh, we'll do the setup here in active pause before we get into the uh, live phase of the game. So, cycling through the master modes, and you'll need to probably bind this if you've just downloaded the Jeff because there is no switch for Air A or AG, unlike the F-16, F-18 or Harrier. So you need to bind a HOTAS key or just a button on your keyboard for mode cycling. Once you get your master mode cycle, uh, we want AS which is air to surface, and there's one or two, I think, depending on the profile. We want mode direct, weapon to CM8, which is the one we've got. Your terminal uh, attack is the prop-up attack. Uh, quantity one, you can fire more than one, although if you fire them um, in quick succession, it is a lot of micromanagement guiding both missiles at the same time, because you need to manually control the terminal phase of both missiles. So I recommend firing one at a time or staggering them so that you can control them separately. And happy with the, the settings there, over there. Now, to set up your TGP, uh, you need to power it on, um, on the aircraft itself. Uh, I've popped this in the mission editor, so this is already pre-set up. Uh, but to actually power on the TGP itself, as you can see, it's in the travel mode at the moment. You select uh, the, well, whichever MFD you choose, but I'm gonna use the right here. Bottom right, bottom center button, brings up the menu, pod, and it gives you the pods you're carrying. I've got two pods here. I've got the WMD-7, which is the targeting pod itself with the camera, and MIL, which is the data link pod. You will need the data link pod because the missile uses the data link to communicate between the aircraft and the missile. Without the data link pod, you have no means of communicating and controlling the missile, so you need to have that. Uh, but we'll look into that later. If you click on it now, it will give you your missile one, missile two, but it'll have no information. So let's go back to the uh, pod page. WMD-7, your pod is in the off, position it's powered off at the moment to power it on you merely collect cycle the off to on and it's on now don't panic here if it's all blank it's because it's mask the camera is still stowed away until it is uncaged so to uncage the camera select the cage button and cycle it to uncage and now the camera will pop out to use the camera you'll need to have the mfd as your sensor of interest so the camera MFD is the right one. So we want the right sensor of my MFD as my sense of interest. Use S1 right, and you'll see a little star pop up at the bottom of the MFD. That denotes that this is your sensor of interest. If I want to use the left one, I could S1 left, and the little star will shift to the left. So let's bring over to the right hand side. Now I can use the camera because it's my, my sensor of interest. Using your TDC keys, you can slew the camera around. You can use the radar elevation up and down to zoom in and zoom out. There is a very cool focus effect that you get with this module. Uh, we're looking for the X-shaped airfield with some targets on it. That looks like it there. 
you're on currently in wide field of view we can narrow it to give a much narrower field of view and then we can even zoom in a little bit more with a narrow field of view which is pretty cool you can see the cycling effects there now to set up your point of interest you'll have to lock a point on the ground which we cannot do at this distance if you press if i press enter or tdc press it won't because the camera requires i think about 20 nautical miles to be able to lock onto a point so i need to unpause the game set myself a model pilot i just cruise my way to i'm within about 20 nautical miles so let's just uh bring my aircraft there <music> Right, we should be close enough now to do it. So let's mount, let's uh, TTC over to the target point, hit enter, and now you can see we've got area track. So I'm gonna put on active pause again. Once you've got area track, find zoom onto the thing you want to lock and TTC again, and it should lock on by having a point track. So now you've got point track. Now you set up the sensor point of interest, the SPI, SPI sensor point of interest. Uh, you're actually good to go. So look up, check, your HUD, you got CMA selected, your missile is ready, it's on air to ground mode, it's on direct. So all the information is there, everything correlates, I've got a, tar a lock target locked up. So let's bring off the active pause, and we'll pickle the weapon. Your aircraft will roll to one side as a big heavy missile is released, and it will be out of bounds, so brace yourself for that. And the weapon's off. Once the weapon's on its way, hit cycle MWD-7 top left to your pod main menu and bring up the downlink pod and now you have a little bit of data uh, you will have a timer there tkj and t t just tells you how long the missile's been in the air and uh, tkj gives you your time to your control the terminal phase so we've got 20 seconds before the missile hits terminal phase you see m1's flashing if we had two missiles you could cycle between the two downlink pods or the two frequencies sorry on the downlink pod so we've got 10 seconds to see the missile can give us control There we go. Now we have direct control of the missile in its sort of terminal phase, or f and like final phase of the flight. We can use the TDC key to move the camera around and guide the missile. Uh, can bring it to narrow field of view or wide field of view, and ele radar elevation up down gives you uh, some sort of brightness control to helps you cycle. It helps your guidance a little bit. Let's go now for review there. Let's focus on the tack we want, which is the one in the middle. Gently bring it around because it's quite sensitive. Once the camera starts waving like that, it's uh, it's very much near the final stage of flight as the indicator. Finally tune it as it gets closer. Just very gentle touches of the control. And impact. And there you have it. It's a really simple way of setting up um, the cruise missile using the TGP. It's basically, at this point, a super maverick. Well, guys, I hope that was helpful or informative. If you guys have any uh, suggestions, comments, just put them in the bed below. And I uh, hope you guys are safe quarantine in April 2020. This is Nate out. <laughs>